Hello, welcome to DIY is my happy place. I'm Amy and today we're going to be doing my guest bathroom makeover. It's been needing an update for a long time and today is the day. So if you want to see how I can turn a bathroom over with a very tight budget, stick with me. We're going to have some fun. My guest bathroom has been needing a makeover for a while and I am so glad it finally became a priority for me. This is my inspiration photo. I absolutely love the blue and the gold. And I found this towel bar online for $168 and thought, I can do better than that. This is a mirror that was also an inspiration mirror that I was thinking I could probably make something like that. And one more inspiration mirror. This one I found online using Dollar Tree supplies. Now, I am showing how I created all my fancy gold embellishments, but I'm gonna do a more detailed video of that next week. Right now, I just wanna show the overall makeover and especially how I did the floor. Now, my cabinets looked ridiculous they just needed a makeover so much and i have painted my linoleum a gray before and this was about four or five years ago and i just decided it's time to update it as well now because the cabinets take so many coats of paint i went ahead and primed it with this cream colored paint that i got in an oopsie pile at the store that's a lot cheaper and i actually splashed some on my door and that created a new makeover for my door. And I'm gonna show how I did that later, which I absolutely ended up loving the result. Now, what I'm gonna do is paint my grout lines and I want them to be, I first painted them cream and then I thought, no, I think I want them gray. This is the beauty of paint. You could just change it out however you want. So I'm gonna paint all my grout lines, but hold on right now. There's one thing that I want you to know, and that is, that you can change the size of your tile depending on how you line your grout lines. It can be large, it can be small, it can be whatever. Now, I do like the grout lines to be very thin. When I first did this before, I used a thick tape, but then I found this deco tape at the Dollar Tree, and it's really, really thin. And that's the look I'm going for, is the really thin line grout lines. So I definitely recommend picking up some of this deco tape. And then you just tape the floor exactly where you can see very a uh, very light a uh, very light hint of where the lines were and you can make your tile whatever size you want and that's what i love about being able to do it this way so we're going to tape that and then once we have it completely taped off we're going to use the exact same color our grout color and we're going to paint over it now this is imperative if you don't do this this whole thing really just won't work because paint seeps up underneath the tape. No matter how much you think it's not going to, it always does. So make sure you don't skip this process. Paint over your paint. No matter what, what you're doing when you're do, trying to do perfect lines, you want to paint over your paint. Now, this tape is not really, really sticky. So you need to paint and go with the lines of the grout in order to keep the tape from lifting up and once that completely dries put a second coat on because if you put that second coat on it will really seal the paint and the tape down so that it'll be strong enough to accept the second coat of paint which you're going to paint right over the top of this. I know it may sound confusing, but this is the most important part. If you skip this part, your lines won't look perfect, and then it will look as if it's a paint job instead of a real tile job. So now, just to get our grout lines, we have three coats of paint. The original coat that's down, then we put the tape on, then we painted that same color over the top of our tape, 
two times. And that gets us to this point. Once that is completely dry, you can put your tile color on. And the sky's the limit. Any color you want will work. I wanted to go bold and blue. Now you can see my tape underneath there. And once I get this blue all the way on, and it actually took two coats to really get it to look nice, then I can pull the tape off and I have perfect grout lines. Isn't that fantastic? And if you skip those parts where you paint over the tape, then the blue will seep up underneath and then your lines won't be straight. The beautiful part about this is I just went along the actual lines that were already on the floor with the linoleum. But see how it now looks like it's a tile? And then I did my cabinet with the same blue that I did with the floor, except that I mixed it with some of the cream color, so it would be just a little bit different color. I always go in the stores and look for the mist tint colors and grab really high-end expensive paint with mist tints, and then I can just add my own colors to those high-end paints in order to stretch out one gallon of paint to last for five gallons worth of projects. And the other thing that I love about it is I was able to change out a grab-and-go denim blue paint that I got from Walmart and mix it with all these other types of paints to create two different colors of blue. And I was able to use $15 worth of paint from Walmart and some mist tint, tint paints, which came to a approximately $30 total and I can do a lot of projects with that amount of paint. Once my paint is completely dry I do like to put a coat actually two coats of polyurethane on and let me show you what we do for that. Now I picked up a great big brush I think I got this one from the Dollar Tree and you put your polyurethane on and the one thing you have to do is you really kind of have to rub it in and you have to go in all different directions because the bevels that are on the linoleum will leave spaces that don't get the polyurethane if you don't really go from all directions painting it on. Now I had originally thought that I wanted a matte finish and so I was using a high gloss polyurethane because that's what I had on hand and I thought I'll go back and put a second coat with matte finish over the top. But then after it was all completely dry and still so shiny, I guess I kind of like it. So I'm sticking with the high gloss for now. If later on it bugs me, I'll go ahead and put a matte finish over it. But here is what the result, final result looked like. I did caulk the bathtub and it's starting to look like brand new. I love it so much. Now, my inspiration photos, I did make all the, the different embellishments and fun things to go along with the bathroom. And I will show a how-to next Wednesday of how I created this mirror using Dollar Tree supplies and a Walmart mirror. And how I did my towel bar, bar. I gave you a little sneak peek. And, of course, my refurbished door. All, everything in the room, I painted to go with my gold look. I tried to use all the same products that I already had whenever possible. And then just paint them to look updated. And add some fun little things. I actually love this little cell phone holder to go right next to the toilet paper holder. I think I'm going to put that in all my bathrooms. What a fun idea is that? Cell phone holder. Every bathroom needs one, right? <laughs> okay, so there is my finished product. I hope you liked my bathroom makeover. If you like it, please subscribe. And don't forget to ring the bell to all. And I'll show you when I'm creating new content. I refurbished every square inch of this bathroom, including the light fixtures the soap dispenser, I added a frame around the mirror, and of course added some glam 
to my towel bar without breaking the budget. My entire bathroom makeover came in under $200. Now that is what I call a fun, easy, beautiful bathroom makeover. Now, if you can't remember what it looked like before, here is the original bathroom, and here is what it looks like now. I am absolutely loving blue and gold. It is definitely my favorite decorating theme this year. What do you think? Would you dare to paint your linoleum? The way I looked at it was anything is better than what I had, and to be able to do it on a tight budget is what makes me so happy. And the best part about it is I'm not committed. I can change it every single year if I if my heart desires. Who could ask for anything more? Oops, I almost broke out in an Annie Oakley song. <laughs> Love it. Now, wasn't that awesome? I have to say, one of my favorite DIYs that I have ever done was because of an accident. I have the ugliest hollow doors in my house. I hate them, and I've hated them for 10 years. And I keep thinking, I painted some, they didn't really turn out that great. But then when I accidentally splashed paint on them when I was painting my cabinet, and then created this wash look that I love, I'm gonna go throughout my whole house and do the same thing, which was an accident that turned into something fabulous. And that's why I say, focus on the good and bury the pans. If you're ever wondering what that means, you'll have to look at my video that tells all about that quote and what it means to me. But I say to you, focus on the good, bury the pants, and I'll see you again soon. Mm -hmm.